Okay, one thing that I never mentioned was how cool this title screen is. Um, yeah, I'm gonna fast forward a little bit. There's this. I think this is a really cool title screen. Um, and it's perfect for the game. I just think that's really cool, just everything interlocking together. But we have one last thing before we complete this game. And I honestly have no idea what it's gonna be. I'm sure it's just another level of some form. Ida's Dream, a standalone adventure. I don't know if it's gonna be super long. I don't know if it's gonna be super short. I, yeah, I, I have no idea. Um, I don't know if it's gonna be super challenging, if there's gonna be any lore involved. Uh, okay, so it looks like we have these four different lights. So it looks like just more Don't know what's in store for me up there. So I guess I'll... S Can I even go anywhere? Okay. So that door was... Nothing. Can I... Was there something I'm missing? I think I'm locked out, so I have to do something. Um... I don't know... So it looks like it's just going to be... Okay. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Kind of the point, though, eh? I, for some reason, didn't know I could walk over here. Fucking head. Kind of silly. Um, looks like it's just going to be more more of the same um got four lights might break this down into multiple parts we'll see how long each light takes chapter 10 last time also included many lights and it took me a while before i was able to get them all um definitely the hardest part of the game so um we'll see how long this takes me right now it seems okay I got the first light down I just have to go back up there how have I already forgotten how to I just walk in here why do I why do I forget about that okay there we go okay so in my yes one light down it looks like there's one two three four several others so this is really a standalone adventure, like each mini levels. This is his own little game. Also, this is <laughs> crazy. Okay, I just walk along the lines and I twist them. Oh. This is awesome. <laughs> I don't know. Because this is just the game that we, we've been playing, right? Like, this is what we've been playing. It's just like on such a more abstract level that it really feels like a whole new thing. Um, how do I get up though? That's the question. How do I, so I can't walk up there. Okay, so I need to be on the top of the circle here so I can, okay, so I need to be right here. Then I can go around to here, get on top of here. Yeah, it's just like the same thing, but it was super cool. Um, just super abstract. Makes you remember how crazy the game you're playing is. Okay, got these things, can rotate them. Press this button.
Okay. I guess it unlocks a new rotating piece. Um, is there a way that I can... Oh, yeah, okay. Um, this isn't exactly what I wanted, but it could totally work out. Yeah, okay. I kind of just... Hmm. kind of just want to be back to where I was. I'm not sure if that's going to be an option anymore. <laughs> oh, it is. We're, okay. There we go. Press this other button. Can we climb all the way up to the top? Okay, that's three out of five. Okay, I don't know how that's gonna work out in the editing, but Ben, ben came in to say hi real quick. <laughs> um, okay. So three out of the five done. Okay. I was expecting some story of some kind, but no. Okay, um... Oh, look at that, would ya? Would ya? You know, just look at it. And now it's gone. Um, which I need it. Can I go halfway? Yes. Cool. Okay. So that allows me to get on this part, which... No, it allows me to get this switch. Okay. Yeah, I was wondering. Um... Okay, now we got a, another base of operations that we can go to through this long path. Yeah, so it looks like each light is a lot simpler. Or maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm just better at the game. Because the last, chap the last chapter of the base game was really hard. But it was pretty much this idea of, right, you had three different lights in chapter 10. This one we have five different ones we're working on. But each... And it was weird because in the base, right, in, in chapter 10 of the base game, it really was the getting between the levels that was the hardest part. Once I got into the individual levels, it was a lot easier. Um, hmm. Does that work? Go all the way up to the top? Yes. Right, but then each individual level has been kind of nice and straightforward. Um, But this part, this part, right, the equivalent of it in the base game. Where's the, where's the last? Up there. Okay. Oh, okay. Walk all the way back here. Um, really was the hardest part. Oh, but this, this has been just nice and simple. Which is good. I think it's cool how they just they had the base game or so I call it I don't know what it actually represents um, but then they just kept having ideas so they kept making things and apparently they had enough ideas where they just decided to straight up make a second game um, so that exists because they just like there's so much you can do with this basic concept um, okay I can already tell this is harder, <laughs> harder than the previous ones. Okay, where did I even come from? Came from that door. Came up here. Which side do I want to be on? Walk along these sides. I don't think that helps me very much. weird okay um because i can't walk off here can't walk off here yeah can i walk off here in some point not from this direction okay 
Mm, yeah, this is definitely going to be tougher. Okay. And this is hard because as the puzzles as the puzzles get tougher, it's harder for me to to think and talk at the same time. Yeah, let's just go back down here. I feel like I need to reset the situation somehow. Oh, I don't know why though. Like this is the only spot I can go. But right? even if my perspective was different. Like can I? Can I get on from like any of these other angles? No. Like it has to be here. This is the only thing. I can get on right there and then twist it. Does that? Yes? Yes? Upside down? No? This is new territory, but... I'm not doing much with it. <laughs> okay, Leah, let's just go back here. So, it's my only goal. My only goal is to get to that door. Right. And I think I have to get up here. And I get up there by how... How can I get up there? A box? Okay. That makes it sideways, then I can walk here. Okay, cool. This curve thing was a big part of it. I can climb up this, get on this side of it. Okay. Making progress. Now I can get on top of... No, we can't. Um, now I can get here, and then, not sure what to do after that, um, is that where I'm supposed to go? Maybe, no. Yes? Can I walk? No, that doesn't help me. I can walk up here, but I... Sorry. Okay. Let me walk right here. Get on this thing. Come over here. I think my laptop is dying. Here, I'll pause the video. I'm gonna go get my charger real quick. Okay. Plugged in my laptop. Um, I'm gonna walk up this ladder here. Or crawl or I don't know, walk up. I don't know what the perspective is here. Okay, now we're on the sideway. Is that it? Perfect. Let's see what this windmill does for us. It opens up. Final platform. Now I just have to figure out how to get to it, I guess. Is that true? Or am I just gonna. Tower friend, ah, one last time with our tower friend here, which means we. I'm glad. He even bopped his head. He's happy to see us too. Um, I need to go down here. Probably. Um, tower friend is back. It's good to see him. It's good to see him indeed. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Climb on top. I, although I don't really know what climbing on top is going to do, to be honest. So, oh, never mind. <laughs> I know what it's going to do. Going to get us all the way up top. Thank you, Tower Friend. You are truly the MVP of this series. This is the final episode of it. Finished the entirety of Monument Valley Paranormic Edition. I am... I'm satisfied. I am a little dis... <laughs> okay, I'm satisfied. Thanks for playing Ida's Dream. This chapter was originally created for charity. Oh, cool. If you enjoyed this journey, please support a worthy cause close to you. That's really cool actually 
It's really, really cool. I'm really happy. I, I'm really satisfied with the game overall. Um, I will say, I, the Forgotten Shores was, they had really cool puzzles, but I really, like, one thing that I wasn't expecting, but I was really drawn into into this game was this lore of, like, what is my quest for forgiveness? What is going on? Like, who am I? Who is this princess that we're controlling? Uh, and that was really fun for me to explore, especially because I was surprised at how correct I was I, with my guesses of restoring geometry and things like that. Um, Forgotten Shores didn't really add to that at all. That was one of my favorite parts besides i mean obviously the puzzle solving part of it is great but i i felt like i was missing the lore um, in forgotten shores but they were fantastic additional levels that is dream was beautiful and it, for some reason it just makes it all more sweet uh, that i know that it was originally made for charity so anyway that is monument valley i'm glad i got to play this game i'm glad that i got it uh, thank you for joining me for it um for any parts that you watched it was really fun it's a very really elegant game really enjoyed it uh, so thanks thanks again for joining me